Hey, by the way, guys that are listening, I use a selfie stick to attach this to a tripod. So a selfie, well, but you're not a really using a stick. Mount. Uh, yeah, it's a mount. but I had to buy a selfie stick, and I felt really bad when I did it. <laughs> one more viewer, one more. Ah, we're on. All we right. got hundred. Go. All right, get out, get out of here now. Oh, fine. Yeah. Bye. Hey, welcome to Morning Mindset. This is something new that we're doing, and you're welcome. I am still your host, Professor Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about saying no to your wife. Oh, but you don't understand, Paul. Stop yourself. Listen up. If you are married, if you're thinking about being married, if you are a young man, or if you are a woman, close your mouth and open up your ears. For some reason in the United States, well, I know the reason, but I don't have time to get into it. Men have become these subservient yes men. And let me tell you what, your girlfriends, your wives, they might like it when you agree with every single thing they say. They might outwardly like it, but inwardly, they don't freaking respect you. If you're going to be a husband, if you're going to be a father, you are supposed to be the head of the family. Yes, the head of the family. The leader, not the boss, but the leader. And there is a difference. Now here's the thing with being the leader. You are not just a boss that gets to tell everybody what to do. You're not some kind of a dictator. A leader takes responsibility. The responsibility for the family is yours and yours alone. You need to take responsibility. And every once in a while, your wife, the good idea fairy, is going to land on her shoulder, and she's going to say something. And your knee-jerk reaction, because society has beaten you down for 20 years, Urgh! shut your mouth, just go hide in your man cave and play video games. No, screw that crap. Every once in a while, you need to say, no. No, honey, we're not going to do that. When your wife wants to coddle your children and make them soft and weak and keep them sheltered in a little bubble, every once in a while you need to say, no. Take this step. I'm not telling you to be abusive. Don't be an idiot. But you're supposed to be the leader. And quit using your wife. I'm going to go ahead and look at the Periscope camera right now. Quit using your wife as an excuse not to do what's right. You own a gun for self-defense? You taking training? Blah, blah, blah. No, my wife doesn't. Shut up! If you've got a wife and a girlfriend who wears, well, my wife does, she's not comfortable with guns in the house, so I don't have them. Is she comfortable with being raped in front of your eyes? Are you comfortable with having your family raped, murdered, and abused? Because I don't want to offend my wife's sensibilities and not have guns. Nut up and be a freaking man. And every once in a while, you have to say no. And women, if you're looking for a man that will never tell you no, you're not looking for a man. You're looking for a little boy that you can control. And that's sick. So stop doing that. All right, that's it for Morning Mindset. I'm going to drink my coffee. And what are you freaks going to do? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com. And you're going to sign up for the newsletter so you can get everything that we do. Why don't you, why don't you roll into the honey badger? Because this it goes with oh, all right. raising kids. Oh, uh, raising kids. Yeah, we're, we're raising our boys especially, but uh, our boys and our girls, we're raising them to be weak little, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not saying bad words. It's I family friendly. Say this one, is from family I didn't friendly. say one bad word. Oh, okay. So uh, I wrote a whole book about raising kids not to be little weak weaklings. Uh, I didn't say the P word. Congratulations. Pusillanimous. How not to be pusillanimous. So... Team Honey Badger, go to studentofthegungear.com, and you can get it, a signed version. Uh, I'll do that for you. How's that sound? Was that good, Jared? Yeah, that was good. Did I pimp enough? Studentofthegungear.com. Hey, Wayne, tag that, tag that person in this video. What's up with that? We're, hey, we're going to do a Q&A session. We got two minutes. So Really? Yep, we're going to do a Q&A. we're going to keep these short. Two minutes. What's up with that rifle in front of him? All right, this is not a rifle. This is an RV-85 26.5 millimeter smoke and flare launcher. Yes, it's Czechoslovakian. I'm sorry, it's from the Czech Republic. Now, this could have actually been made, I think this was actually made when the country was called Czechoslovakia, not the Czech Republic. 
Either way, it's a fine piece of gear. It is an exceptionally well-made piece of gear. When Century Arms brought these in a few years ago, like five years ago, I guess it was now, when they imported these, they were giving them away for retarded prices, like $179 or something. Now, if you can find one, they're like $500 plus. So, if you didn't get one, it sucks to be you. Uh, Joseph says, what is the best plate carrier you recommend for my AR500 plates? I don't there's care. So, I've said there's so many now. One, that, US one Palm, that works. U.S. Palm makes ones that have quick Velcro on and off. Uh, if you want one with buckles and, and straps, Blackhawk does. Does uh, Does Willis make plate carriers? Sure. SOE? I think it, uh, SOE they, makes they plate make, carriers. They make everything. I'm, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Go to go to. Who's uh, Who's that hippie that that likes student of the gun who's supposed to be stitching up stuff? Oh, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Do you make plate carriers? Or are you hiding? He's he's currently hiding his business. We're not supposed to know about it. No, SOE does not make plate carriers. Okay, saying. well, there you go. SOE doesn't make plate carriers. I haven't got an answer from Ryan. Is that my birthday present then? No. No. Uh, JD says, appreciate you guys. That's what I was asking about ease of taking on and off. Okay. Slightly darker black PCs are the best. Any more questions? We got, uh, let's say, 20 more seconds. We have a delay. Will this video be available after the fact for people who couldn't view live? Yes. Oh, that's that's Mama number two. Uh, have you had a chance to review the Sig P320 yet? Yeah, a long time ago. I'm hard. I'm having a hard time keeping up with the questions because they go so fast. When is the knife giveaway? It's not a giveaway. I'm, it's a gift away. The knife gift away, you'll get your email this weekend. You will get your email by Valentine's Day, okay? Joseph Ray, we do a, a, the radio shows every Monday to through Friday, whatever, Monday through Thursday. But we do one of these every single Friday morning. Lancer Man. At least for the last three. Thumbs up or thumb down? I don't know. All right, we're done. Ask Yeager. Ask Yeager. <laughs>